What is up guys, Fahir here from awesometoots.com and I got asked a question and that is how did I get to the point where I am to be good at game development and programming and where did I start? So I'm going to go back from the beginning when I started I'm going to explain as short as I can. So I started five years ago and I started with Java and I thought that was the best programming language to start with based on what I researched online and I still think that Java is very good for beginners if you want to learn how to program. And what I, why did I say I thought? Well, this is very important because I didn't have anyone to show me or point me in the right direction and tell me learn this or learn that, this will be good for you, don't learn that, instead of well, I started on my own and wandered through the web, through books, through blog posts, through tutorial videos, so on and so forth. Anyways, in regards to books, because I used a lot of books and there is one particular book that I loved. It was about Java. It had 2000 pages and I read it twice. Yes, I did it twice. So 4000 pages, I went through it two times. And well, in total, it was 2000 pages. Anyways, I had struggles with it. It took me about nine months to grasp everything, how everything works. I had struggles and I do think about myself that I can learn things pretty quickly, but I got stuck at programming. I practiced and practiced and practiced and tried to learn and tried to learn and, and did it every day over and over again for three, four, five, six hours, sometimes even 10 hours a day. I've spent learning and practicing and trying but with no luck. I just didn't understand how everything worked. And I thought about quitting and uh, I thought that I was stupid, that I could not learn programming. Maybe programming was not for me. And I see a lot of beginners have the same thoughts and have the same struggles. This is why I mentioned it. So the main point here is don't give up. Anyways, after some time, after nine months, everything just clicked. And uh, yeah, I started doing things. And back to my, back to the book, which I said, well, uh, in regards to books, I don't really like, love them because uh, they tend to overcomplicate things. They take a simple topic that you can put in one page and they spread it out over 10 pages and not to mention the exercises that come along with that specific topic are hard as hell. And not even that they are hard for beginners and nearly impossible to solve, but they will never benefit you. You will never use those things in your programming career. In regards to videos, so I found a lot of videos online, but I did not find complete videos and step-by-step -step practical videos. What do I mean by this? Well, I didn't find videos that actually teach you how to do things or how to build an app from scratch, starting with a blank project, now importing assets and what we have and creating and building everything from the ground up. That's why you see my tutorials now, creating games, creating apps. It's a practical approach because this is when you learn. Remember the book I mentioned like two minutes ago about 2000 pages, I read it twice, 4000 pages in total, spent two or three months on that book. And when I started to build things on my own, I could not do it. I just couldn't do it because the book did not taught me how to put an app together. So yeah, because of that, I've started teaching because of that, I started teaching the way I teach using the practical approach. Because of that, I have coaching programs so that I can guide you through the way. So this is basically in short, how I learned, how I struggled. And even though I said just a little bit, I don't want to make this video too long because now I'm going to give you my advices, my three advices, two cents, three advices, <laughs> how to learn or the best way to learn in my opinion. So the first thing that you need to do in regards to learn is that you need to follow practical examples. So use practical approach. Don't just go and learn, okay, how to do this, how to do that, how to do this. I, I really hate those tutorials like that. I really hate books that do things like that, that just teach you specific things like, uh, I don't know, how to move an image left and right or how to change an image when you click a button. That is useful, but when you want to put everything together, you need to know a pattern, how everything goes. So practical approach, practical examples, number one. Number two, practice on your own. For example, if you are watching one of my game development tutorials and I teach you how to move a player left and right, 
think of it right away, how can you move the player up and down and do that on your own? Because that's when you learn. That is when you learn. I try to do that or actually when I try to learn or do things on my own, this is when I learned the most. This is when I connected things together. This is where my struggles, well, stopped. Of course, I struggled when I wanted to create things, but eventually they stopped and I started understanding things, how they go. So the more you practice, the better you will be. And the third and the best, so not here, here, <laughs> the third and the best option, in my opinion, is that you need a mentor, you need a coach. Now, I'm not saying this because I have my coaching program and you should join. Maybe you have some other tutor, some other instructor that you love, go enjoy and learn with him. But my point here is when you have an instructor, when you have a coach, actually not an instructor, a coach, a mentor, somebody that will guide you and be there through your learning program and it can devote time to you and to answer your questions. Why is this important? Well, it took me nine months to grasp everything and to figure everything out. If I had a coach, I could have figured that out everything in a month or two times tops. So two months was would be top. Now, a lot of people go to college and go through some programs, educational programs, and they spend thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars going through those programs, spend years on those programs and still don't learn a thing. When you get a coach, you spend two or three months with him and you pay less and he gets you to the point where you want to be. Personally, I have my coaches now. Currently, I'm going to a coaching program that costs $5,000 and I took it as an investment because I know that I will benefit from it and it will help me to create better content, to be better instructor to you, to write better code, so on and so forth. And not to mention all of those programs that I took in the beginning, I took a program that was like $2,500. I didn't learn a thing. I did not learn a thing because the videos were shit. The lessons were shit. Everything was shit. They did not taught me anything and I paid $2,500. So yeah, getting a coach is the best option. As I said, if you don't get a coach, then you will definitely go through practical examples and practice on your own to learn. And as I said, I had a lot of coaches on my own. Currently, I have a coach and going through the coaching program. I had one of my coaches was Andre and uh, he worked in Adobe on Photoshop program. So he was part of the team. Yes, he worked in Adobe and worked on the Photoshop program. I learned a lot from him. You know, I, I ask him specific questions that you can only gain through experience, so on and so forth. So that is the benefit from having a coach and a mentor. And during or along the way on your road, you will need a coach and a mentor to succeed on a higher level. And will that pay off? Well, for me personally, it did. I'm landing clients at $150 per hour for debugging projects, even $500 uh, per hour actually per fixes on projects. Uh, I'm landing jobs or getting job, job offers in USA, in Spain, in Germany. In two months time from now, I'm gonna travel to another country and work in a company to help them on their program, so on and so forth. And basically, you know, everything or all of this happened because of programming. And if you're serious about that, so go through that path, invest in yourself and you will definitely not regret it. So these are my two cents in regards to how did I learn and how you should learn, in my opinion, the best way to learn based on all of my experience so far. And I taught over 50,000 students how to code and make games. And uh, yeah. Fahir here from awesomethoos.com and by the way, I revamped the website so it's new and old. Well, practically I just took some of the things out. Anyways, uh, if you want to get commercial free assets for your games, you can go on my website and grab them. Just put your info below and that will be that. I will see you guys in the next video.